Hi everyone, it's Sari Ari and I'm here to give Earth signs their energy for the day, which is for Monday and Tuesday, okay? So we're going to begin with Taurus. Alright, so I'm using Doreen Virtue's um, Fairy Tarot again, okay? Love this tarot. So let's begin with Taurus energy for today and tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Woo! That one flew out. <laughs> it was like me. All right. So today's energy is the Princess of Spring, and this is uh, it could be you or it could be somebody you know. Optimistic, enthusiastic, uh, creative, and energetic person uh, who um, is pushing forward with realizing their dreams and their fullest potential. So Taurus, today that energy is coming for you. <laughs> Where you're finally realizing what it is that you truly desire. Maybe you're finally going to go ahead and go for that job that you want. Uh, maybe you're finally going to go ahead and ask that person out that you've been crushing on for a while. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, this is this is all about creativity. So creative force energy coming in that you are mentally, you know, creating and then and then manifesting into the physical Taurus. So this is something to do with your material wealth coming in as well. So it could be someone that is going to assist you with getting a better opportunity at a job or maybe a raise or or maybe someone that you meet who is a romantic partner who has and is more stable okay financially speaking uh whatever it is it's coming in it's coming and you are definitely manifesting it okay <laughs> all right so for tomorrow is a two of spring and this is about uh, your own energy manifesting your reality, okay? So keeping a positive mind because that is how you're able to bring in all of these wonderful gifts from the universe into your life at this time. Um, this has a lot to do with the energies for today where you are building things and you have been, you know, through the hard work that you've been doing, you finally are being recognized the way that you're supposed to be, okay? Through the healing work that you've been doing regarding uh, yourself and a romantic partner, you're finally being recognized and you're finally matching the vibration of the true potential romantic partner that you desire at this time. And or maybe there's a job opportunity that you have been working your behind off on, learning about and getting, you know, that extra, um, recognition in in this in this uh field of expertise and you're finally seeing the progress of that through getting that promotion through getting you know um awarded for all that hard work so this is awesome awesome energy for you Taurus okay all right so next we will be doing is Virgo okay Virgo Virgo I usually go in line with the houses. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> if you guys are like wondering how come mine isn't first or or whatnot, um, that's how I go. It's on the order of the houses. So Taurus is usually first than, <laughs> than the other than the other two, okay? Um so Virgo. Oh, that one. Okay. All right, Virgo, you have some cool things to do. <laughs> so for today, it's the 10 of autumn. And this is all about spending time taking a break and spending time with your loved ones, being there for people uh, that you care mostly about um, more than the outside world. You know, it's a, it's about nurturing yourself and your family life and about building uh, a stronger connection to people that you you love even with your children or your your partner or even your immediate family your mom your dad your siblings whatever it's about that it's about making a wise investment in 
you know, planning your future with these people. You know, you might have a, a person in your family who is very uh, uh, financially savvy and they could tell you what to invest in or you, they can tell you how this is a good opportunity for you to make more money. Things like that. It's about those type of connections and understanding that you have them and why not use them, right? So all about family, all about feeling secure in your finances and building that trust between your family members and yourself, okay? All right, the next one is for tomorrow is the 6th of summer, and this is about inner child work. Doing inner child work, what is it that is holding you back? Because there's always a root cause to us not succeeding in life because of the fear of success. Maybe we're afraid of it because, you know, we've experienced some type of form of, uh, just disappointment when we were children. So it's all about that, about doing the inner child work that is necessary for you to move forward, uh, removing any type of wounding, any type of thing that might be, uh, any type of fear that might be holding you back. So it's all about that. What did you used to do when you were a kid? You know, thinking about it in an innocent way, it's like we tend to be very pessimistic when it comes to things in, in our lives that we don't take the time to just breathe, you know, or just relax, okay? So I highly recommend that you, you know, do something that you loved to do when you were a kid, you know, maybe it was to take a nap, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was to go outside and go on the, go to the beach or if you have one near you you know things like that things that are that make you you know enjoy life once more okay Virgo so that's all I have for you next is Capricorn okay so let's go ahead and shuffle Capricorn Capricorn energy is like, you better make sure those are shuffled good. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> okay. All right, so Capricorn, you got number 13, release. And that's for the energy for today. So this is about letting go of the past, past patterns, uh, past uh, pain, past suffering, past woundings. Okay. It's very hard for Capricorn to do that because they're so, whenever they have any type of intense emotion like that, they tend to just be like, okay, I'm over it. And they don't really like get over it easily. <laughs> they just don't want to deal with it. So they engulf themselves at, in work, you know, in success in in knowing that they're good at something. So they'll just like highlight that instead of like, dealing with with emotions in that intense levels they tend to just deal with them here and there but then all of a sudden they blow up in their face again so it's it's very important to just sit with yourself and deal with ending cycles uh, ending cycles of of maybe a uh, past relationship wounding uh maybe it has to do with a re romantic relationship that you just couldn't get over quicker you know and and so it's about revisiting that and letting it go finally okay letting it go by crying capricorn like it's okay to cry <laughs> you know it's okay it's fine you know you don't have to tell the world of course you know that you cry of course because you're tough <laughs> but it's all about that about making sure that you clear yourself for new and more beautiful opportunities with other partners that are coming in okay there's so much potential with romantic partnerships with capricorn they just tend to be like nah, you know because they still need to heal things and and that's okay take your time but it's time for you to release today okay because there's potential partners coming in just saying <laughs> all right so the next one is for tomorrow capricorn's the ace of winter and this is about um, don't be so hard on yourself, especially when it comes to any type of challenges that are coming or you're being faced with, especially emotional ones. Okay. Just because, um, something's triggering you about, you know, a past wound doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that it needs to be reassessed and needs to have, you need to take time for, for or take a little break. And I know how hard it is for Capricorns to take a break because they love to just work and and 
taking a break is kind of like you take a break when you're dead in the Capricorn mentality. So, <laughs> so please just take time for yourself, nurture yourself, take a spa break, you know, go on a spa, like for a whole day, don't go on your phone, just ignore your phone. And I know how hor horrible that sounds to you because you're like, what? People need me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but just take the time that you need for yourself. Okay, because the more that you do this self nurturing thing, the less tough or chaotic energy is going to come into your life. Okay, that's what it's all about is that if we don't take care of things, you know, properly within ourselves, then it's presented to us with somebody that we, we meet or we know. Okay, so take that time Capricorn. All right. And that's all I have for you. And that's all I have for the earth signs. And thank you guys again for watching and hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.